be nice. So cool. Okay, so I'll be there on Friday. Hey, how's it going? Uh, me? Me? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm. She's talking to me. Hello? You didn't get my emergency email about the chair meeting? No. Well, even though it was just a spring, Brittany's mom won't let her be on top of the pyramid, so we've got to figure something out. Lunch room after school? Oh, um, I can't. I have an appointment. Ew. What kind? Dental. Rat cakes. Nice. Like you've never dropped anything before other than a class you were failing. Oh, please refrain from insulting my friend like that. Wait, aren't you guys late for your meeting of the Classic People's Popularity Club? No, thanks for your concern. We changed it to 2.30. is so much harder than people think. First of all, I had this annoying makeup artist with the worst coffee breath poking at me for like two hours. Okay, look, I hate to interrupt this riveting conversation, but mom, it's only two blocks. I think I can make it much faster if I walked. All right, well, be careful though. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, great. My name is Coach Leslie Moore. So more or less, I'm Les Moore. <laughs> yeah, well seriously, you can just call me Coach. It's kind of cute. Hands off, Rocky. So welcome to the Power Strikers tryouts. Now who here is looking to hang out, have some laughs, and have loads of fun? Oh. <laughs> yeah, well unfortunately this is not for you. The Power Strikers is a highly competitive, no-nonsense, kick-em-in-the-teeth soccer club. Yes, we'll have some fun, but we're gonna work hard. Now, not all of you are gonna make the team, so you new girls, you gotta step up. <laughs> You are trying to play soccer. What do you mean, you? You know what I mean. Look, whatever you think of me at school, that's no reason not to take me seriously here. Have you ever been on a team before? Well, not like okay, this, Okay, well, I have. See, that's the benefits of having a dad in the military. I've played everywhere. Germany, the Middle East. Well, big whoop, because we're in Central Park now. You may own the hallways at school, but out here, this is my world. See ya. You wanna hang with me? This ain't 
for one of me You wouldn't make it through the door It's much too hot in here for you Take the town or not your turn In a battle? I saw the Power Strikers play Hartford last year. You guys were awesome. Thanks. I'm glad you came out, Vita. You know me? Of course. Vita Atwood, U13 leading scorer and MVP. <laughs> That's me. I'm going to need you. I want athletes out here, not a bunch of wannabes. <laughs> Dana, uh, I saw the hit for game last year, too. One word. Wow. Hey, Dana. How's your off-season? I'm captain, coach. There is no off-season. OK, take five minutes. Relax, get some water, take a breather. You're pretty fast. Uh, I get that from my mom. I mean, you know, genetically speaking, I get my athleticism from my mom and my music ability from my dad. Uh, I better get back. Okay. tomorrow at practice. Oh, um, Court, I, I might not be able to make it to practice. What, another dental appointment? No, it's something else. I'm sorry, I should have told you. I knew it. <laughs> What's his name? No, don't tell me, let me guess. It's Martin Grammer, that boy in the Jamie Tennis team. <laughs> it's not a guy, you weirdo. Well, what then? I tried out for a city soccer team, and you're ditching us to play soccer? Holly, I don't know whether we should be really, really insulted or really, really concerned about Lex's mental health. Yeah, me neither. You guys, I'm not ditching you, and it's not going to conflict with our schedules. Football games are on Friday nights, and soccer games are on weekends. But what about hangout times and sleepovers and many petties? Don't worry. None of that's going to change. OK, fine. But can we tell people it's about Martin Grammer? <laughs> Forty-nine and fifty. Is this how you rest after playing soccer all afternoon? No. This is how I deal with anger. I can handle people like Alexa D'Amico at my school, but she does not belong on the soccer field. Come on, Freddy. You can make friends with anyone you want. Make friends? How would I do that? You walk up to her, extend a hand, and say hello. Nana, you know I love you, but you don't understand. Look, Lexa and her crew are superficial, dumb, stuck-up people. But Lexa doesn't care about anybody else but herself. We'll get along great, as long as she stays out of my way. Oh, you're a toughie. Like your dad. You know, you got a problem if you two both make the team. <laughs> Trust me, no cheerleader's gonna make the power strikers. Hello? It's for you. Hello? Hi, Coach Moore. We did it. I know. <laughs> my mom never lets me talk on the phone till my homework's done, so when she walked into my room with the phone, my heart skipped a beat. Rookies. Hey, we made the team. We're just having some fun. Come on, Vita. That's not what we're here for. You know that. Congratulations, you guys. OK. Now we're ready to work? Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Where's the other rookie? Uh, Alexa D'Amico, here and ready to kick it.
Don't want to work you too hard first day of practice. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know. I could be this tired and this happy at the same time. <laughs> I know. That's why I think we should celebrate. Do you guys know the Attitude Cafe? Yeah. I'll just grab my stuff. Good first day, Miss Vita. Thanks. Freddie, are you going to come with? Sounds like a boatload of fun, but I'll pass. Where are you going? Uh, home? Let me tell you how this works. There are veterans, like me, who know what's going on. Then there are the rookies, like you, who are just lucky to be here. <laughs> are you for real? Oh, yeah. We get to leave when practice is over. Rookies leave when the field is clear. <laughs> Are you sure you're for real? You've got a mouth on you. We'll see how long that lasts. Hey, guys, what's going on? Just welcoming the new girls. We got to clear the field. Thank you for the smoothie, girls. But as a veteran power striker, you're putting me in a very awkward position. Dana is a friend of mine. Really? No. But she is a teammate, and I feel a little funny about talking about her behind her back. Come on, Marnie, just tell us. What's her deal? Dana is a lot like an African spotted Ardwolf. Yes, I get it. Like the Ardwolf, Dana attacks when she senses weakness. Well, that's not cool. Look, we were 26 and 2 last spring, and we placed second in the city. Dana got us there. You know what, Marnie? I have a feeling that the team got you there. Yeah. Hey, butt brain. I'm not gonna finish these fries, you want them? Please refrain from calling me charming names in front of my new teammates. Guys, this is my brother, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi. Vita. Chris D'Amico, junior. Man about town. I'm a bike messenger. Man about town. Get it? <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, see you guys later. All right, later. Bye. Lauren. Are you okay? You are blushing. You like him, don't you? Okay. okay, I'll be frank with you. He is the cutest guy I have ever met. His teeth are perfect. He's got beautiful eyes. Wait, 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 wait. You noticed his teeth? Oh, girl, you got a thing going on. And I really want a straight answer. You got it, son. Can I get a motorcycle? No. A motor scooter? No. A scooter? No, boy. I'm trying to concentrate here. Fine. I'll come back when you're in a more generous mood. Dad, Dana Battle is a great player. Probably the best on the team. Mm -hmm. But the way she treats the other players, especially the new girls, is just not right. Doesn't sound right. Want me to come down and talk to the coach? No, no, no. <laughs> it's all good. The weird thing is, Dana's actually nice to me. Well, every team has some drama. I'm sure you'll sort it out. I know, but I just want to play soccer. Now, the Vita I know would step up and speak her mind if she felt something wasn't right. <sighs> Dad, why do I always have to be the one that sorts things out? You're going to have to accept two things about yourself. One, you're a natural-born leader. Two, you will never, and I mean ever, beat me at chess. Checkmate. Hey, Dad. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. Stacy, can you wait until we actually get to the workout room before you put that belt on? Hey, I'm at the bottom of the pyramid. I'll put it on whenever I want. Um, Court, just so you know, I'm gonna have to leave practice a little early from now on. For why? <laughs> Soccer. I, I made the team. Are you kidding me? Alexa, enough with the soccer already. Well, this is a big deal. I, I thought you'd understand. Well, I don't. Stacy, would you mind if I had a private conversation with Alexa right now? Alexa, you're my best friend in the whole world. I know. Me too. Okay, Grandma. This one's for you. I walk up, extend a hand, and say hello. It just feels like I'm losing you to a bunch of sweaty athletic girls with bad fashion sense. Court, that's crazy. How you doing? I'm Freddie Costello. 
I'm on Alexa's soccer team. We need to talk. Listen, I think we got off on the wrong foot, so I want to start over. If I've offended you in any way, I apologize. We only have the workout room till 4 o'clock. Is this love fest going to take much longer? Alexa. Um, see ya. high in carbs, and a great source of magnesium. Oh, and it's cheap. <laughs> Brown rice is cool. <laughs> Hi, guys. Mm, bye, guys. What is going on with you two? You got an hour or three? Shin guards. Found them by the front door. Thought you might need them. You know, just when I think you're the biggest mutant, you do something so thoughtful. No biggie. I have a delivery at West 72nd. Hey, Vita. What's up? Hey, Lauren. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Did you get a new haircut? No. Uh, good, because you, you don't need one. Later. Elmer? Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're sort of old. I'll say. Dana, what's wrong with her shoes? Check them out. They look like they belong in the Museum of Soccer. Zelmer, if you can't afford the equipment, don't bother coming up. This is a serious sport, not a hobby. Hey, Dana! V, it's okay. No, it's not okay. We're having a rookie timeout right now. Okay, Dana, starting now, you mess with Lauren, you're messing with me. You mess with any of our teammates, you're messing with me. Bottom line is, we're a team. Vita is so awesome. Even though I've only known her for like a couple of days, it seems like we have some sort of connection. Sweetheart, that's wonderful, but if that soccer ball winds up in my chili, I'll get that. Hey. Hi. If you're trying to get to the mall, you're lost. Look, I came here to talk. Okay. Look, I'm really sorry about what happened at school. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, it's just really difficult right now because my school friends have these preconceived notions about people and I'm under a lot of pressure for some reason to feel that way too. Mm. So let me get this straight. You diss me in front of your friends, and now you expect me to feel bad for you? Look, you don't understand. I really want you to know how I feel. Oh, I do. You're a really great person, Alexa. You feel better now? You know I shouldn't have come. Dinner's ready. Is everything all right? <laughs> Never better. <laughs> Special delivery for Miss Lauren Mozart. That was really professional sounding. Oh, I was just messing around. Is is this for real? Yeah, it's from Vita. Oh my gosh. 
Oh yeah, and she also wanted me to give you this. Dear Lauren, a couple years ago, my sister Elise played soccer for about five minutes. Well, at least long enough to buy these cleats. Even though your other ones are fine, now you have a pair of backups. I know you're probably freaking out because Chris is right there. Oh, I wish I could see the goofy look on your face. Just smile at him and say thank you for bringing this over. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Thank you for bringing this over. Anytime. Well, once I got up in Dana's face, I just couldn't stop. I definitely gave her peace of my mind. Wow. How'd she take it? Girl didn't say a word. I mean, somebody on the team had to speak up. I just made my voice loud and clear. Let's hope so. Mm-hmm. Stood up and spoke your mind, huh? I'm proud of you, girl. <laughs> Me too. I'm gonna see if I can peel Ty away from that TV and go to bed. You coming? In a minute. All right, hon. Good night, Mom. Vita, this is Dana. You may think that stunt you pulled on the field today was funny or cool, but let me tell you, you just made a huge mistake. It's as simple as that. Brendan Costello hates me and I don't know what to do about it. I don't do anything. A famous Greek philosopher once said the best action is inaction. What famous Greek philosopher? You know, the guy, bald robe. Yeah, him. Dude was always saying stuff and people would be writing it down for later. Guys, please, I've got a problem here. Lex, you already went over to Freddy's and tried to talk through it. You don't have to turn your life upside down because she can't step up. Easy for you to say, Chris. It's just, I'm not used to having people not like me. You're popular. You're a cheerleader. You think Courtney freaks out every time someone doesn't like her? Can we please not mention Courtney? She's mad at me, too. Here, if these are any good, they'll make it to the regular menu. Here's to my future. What do you think? Surprising. Different. Hey! Here, I need another person's opinion. No! no! Um, I'm gonna go get changed. Hey, FYI, nice kicks. Thanks. Here, I'm passing these out for a friend. Modus operandi? My friend's band. They're having a huge CD release party tomorrow night at 7. You should come. Uh, tomorrow, let's see. They're a cross between Martin and the Originals and Stank. Really? Yeah. Well, I am a bit of a stank head. Great. So I'll see you tomorrow at 7. 7? Great. These cleats mean more to me than you will ever know. They fit perfect and it feels like I'm walking on air. <laughs> Forget the cleats, okay? I just wish I could have seen the look on your face when Chris showed up at your door. So did you guys talk? Uh, I don't remember. But I did run into him at the Attitude Cafe and he asked me out on a date. Ooh, look at you. I thought you didn't have time for a casual relationship. I know, I don't. It's just that every time I'm around him, I get so unfocused. Plus my mom would have a figurative cow. It's just not meant to be. Okay, so when are you guys meeting up? Seven. <laughs> uh oh, there goes Robo Witch. Don't worry about her. Dana, I'm open. Dana, I'm open. Dana, when you feel the defensive pressure, dish it out to the wing. Here's my problem, coach. My wing is not getting open. Vida, it's your responsibility to find the open space. What's the deal? I was open, coach. Vida, come take a seat. Ella, go run the wing for me. 
I was open. Oh, well. All right, guys. Two on one passing drills. Money, get out there, play some D. Alexa, Freddy, you're up. Let's go. What's the problem? Two on one, let's go. Figures I get stuck doing this with you. You think this is fun for me? Actually, I don't think about you at all. Oh, will you just play? No, you just play. Super try, Freddy. You're welcome. Okay, so Saturday we're playing the Flyers. Now I could tell you it doesn't matter whether we win, so long as we play hard but I'm not going to. You see, they're coached by Curtis Wayne, my ex-college roommate, and I hate Curtis Wayne. Ooh, sounds spicy, Coach Kardish. No, 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 I'm not gonna go there. Instead, bust out our secret weapon. Secret weapon? Courtesy of Marnie's dad and the firm Nelson and Nelson. On behalf of Nelson and Nelson, play hard, play fair, and invest wisely. Thank you. Okay, everybody, grab a jersey, wash it in cold, and get plenty of sleep tonight, okay? Check me out, I am number nine. <laughs> Top left corner, Dana. I thought practice was over. Not for her. Top left corner, Dana. That kick was an insult. Again. Hey, what are you guys doing on this train? Well, me, Holly, and Felicity are here for a carefrontation. A care frontation? We care about you. Oh, uh, okay. And? And we think this rugby thing you've been doing is just wrong. Court, it's soccer and you know it. Whatever. The girls have been talking and we're concerned. We're not gonna sit back and watch you destroy the group. What are you talking about? Relax. Your focus is crumbling like rice cakes. You guys, I've been playing soccer since the fourth grade. We know. We just kind of figured it would be a fave. Bottom line, Alexa, you need to reprioritize. I can't believe you're dissing us for those girls. Those girls are the hardest working, most dedicated people I've ever met. Look, I don't expect you to understand why soccer means so much to me, but they do. So I'm gonna play, and if that's a problem, then you need to reprioritize. What are you saying? You're quitting? You can call it whatever you want. The ball's in your court. home at 8.30. You will leave if there are any inappropriate beverages present. And uh, do you have any emergency money? Mom, I have my emergency money, I have a whistle, and you have the phone number for the Attitude Cafe. Okay. I know. Look, I'm, I'm not trying to be a nervous Nelly. Um, who's gonna be there? Lots of people. Mm-hmm. Alexa, Chris. Chris? Who's she? Uh, he is not a she. He's a boy? How old is he? Wait, where did you meet him? Mom, relax. He's Alexa's brother. Well, I don't need to remind you about our no boyfriend before college agreement, do I? No, Mom, you don't. Do I, do I look okay? You look absolutely gorgeous, unfortunately. Thanks. Are you sure you don't want me to go with you? Mom, I love you. Okay, bye.
Those aren't shark. dolphins, Ryan. Th those, those are sharks. Are Wait, don't go into the water. Just do it, you big baby. Um, excuse me. I know you are not walking out on Ryan at a time like this. Hi, Dana, it's Vita. Look, I know how hard you work, and I know we both want the same thing, so let's just try to get along <laughs> for the team. All right, well, see you at the game tomorrow. <laughs> you said I was the only one, but that was just a dirty lie. Now Here you go, blueberry banana. Thanks. <laughs> oh, uh, your ma called? She wanted me to remind you to be home by 8.30. Uh, yeah, my mom's just kind of overprotective. Hey, is Alexa here? Do a 180. Yeah. OK. Hey, hey. Yeah. Number 11, how's it going? Oh, let's sit here. OK. Fine for someone whose life is unraveling? What do you mean? Look, Lauren, I'm not going to burden you with the details, but the cheerleading squad wants me to turn in my pom-poms. Oh, and that certain someone from our soccer team hates my guts. Your guts are fine. And Freddie doesn't hate you. I hope you're right. By the way, you look beautiful tonight. Thanks. <laughs> so, uh, this seems like fun. Is, is Chris here? Yeah, somewhere. He's wrapped up in some drama with Desiree. Uh, Desiree? His totally gross girlfriend. Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't know yet. Um, you know, Lauren, I'm really not in a party mood, so I think I'm gonna go home, get some rest, and get ready for the game. Do you mind? Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm out of here too. He knows about soccer, you can fit on the head of a pin. Such a poser. Uh, normally, coach, this would be a pretty good time for some sort of pep talk. All right. It's about a girl, Monica Weems. He snaked her. But I'm over it. So, here's the deal, strikers. We can do this. We can plan and diagram all we like. But now you just gotta trust yourselves, all right? And play. Strikers on three. One, two, three. Strikers! Well, that's right. You and Chris had your date last night. Yeah. Okay, so don't keep me in suspense. How'd it go? Yep, it was. It was great. All right, Vida, Dana, you go in for the coin toss. Okay, I want all the details later. Heads, power strikers, you won the toss. I'll take the ball first. Good luck, ladies. Hey, Dana. Yes, I got your message. Okay, so are we good? Rookie, we're fine. As long as you realize I'm the captain of this team. Hey, why do you think you can talk to us the way your dad talks to you? My dad? What's he got to do with this? Just because he's tough on you does not give you the right to be tough on us. I've seen the way you treat your teammates. 
So what? So here's the problem. You're gonna need us to have your back, and if you keep acting like this, I'm not so sure we're gonna be there. Call the game. Vida, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, coach. All right. 90 seconds till half. Let's run a hook and ladder. Vida with the ball. Dana at the back door. Alexa, thread the needle on this one. Got it. Let's go. <laughs> go, power strikers. Come on. Hey, Warren, are you OK? What a creep. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I got your little nose. <laughs> Excuse me, Chris. Are you here to watch us play soccer? Of course. Okay, well then why don't you give her back her little nosy and start focusing on the action on the field? You alright? Can you wiggle your toes? That's my girl. Okay, he was taking her little nosy. That was whack. I mean, how can Chris do that after your date last night? Look, I thought Chris asked me out on a date, but it wasn't a date date. Yeah, it wasn't really anything. Lauren, my brother has the emotional maturity of a lawn rake, but I don't think he'd purposely lead you on. Yeah, no. It's like, I, I just, I just sort of got carried away. Lauren, you had a crush on him. These things happen. Yeah. We're teammates. You know you don't have to lie. You ready? Um, re ready for what? Dinner's out. You're starting second half. Go get him. You go, girl. <laughs> Zomer, if you can't rise to the occasion, I suggest you stick with your more solitary, less confrontational endeavors, such as <sighs> violin, violin. Oh, I miss my violin right now. Hey, rookie, I want to talk to you. Uh, although I suggest words of encouragement. Don't get used to a lot of playing time, because when this ankle heals up, you're back on the bench. And you're going to do great out there. You can beat 15. She's weak going to her right. Hey, that was nice. Thanks. Don't tell anybody, though. Come on, ladies, we can get back into this thing. It's not going to take a miracle. Yeah. 
They can go left. I'm gonna miss you, but I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna meet the girls? Yeah. So I totally faked her out on the inside. It was phenomenal. The world slowed down. But then I saw the look on the goalie's face and I felt bad, but I ripped in anyways. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> I'm sure she's fine. Listen, I just came to tell you nice pass. Thanks, nice goal. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to pretend I understand you, your world, or your friends. But on the field, you and me, we're solid. What about that steal? See, you two wouldn't even be heroes if Miss Vita Atwood did not make that steal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, you, didn't, you didn't tell him I... Of course not. Okay. Here, guys. I bought these to apologize for my behavior today. Huh? My public display of affection was totally inappropriate at the game, and I feel bad about it. It won't happen again. Mm. Thanks. Mm. A toast to the rookies. No, to the power strikers. <laughs> power strikers! Power strikers! <laughs> and then a right at the playground with all the nannies, and then another left at the crazy pigeon lady. But don't step on her bread, because that's what makes her crazy. Lauren! Get over here! And, and remember, if you buy a hot dog from a street vendor, mold is not a topping. Come on, keep it moving! Keep it moving! Don't just stand there! Pass the ball! Control the ball! That's good, but control it! What, are you standing still? What are you standing still for? Good, Tracy, good. Use the side of your foot, though. Excellent. Yes, yes. Uh, Lauren, I know you want to help everybody, but being a tourist in New York City, you expect to get lost or pickpocketed. It's all part of the experience. Besides, you need help with your trapping skills, so get out there. 
On it, coach. Okay, ladies, bring it in, bring it in. I want to talk to you all. Let's get serious about this exercise, okay? If you can trap the ball, you can control the ball. And if you can control the ball... You, you control, control the game! Thank you. Okay, <laughs> back into your teams, please. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Spread it out, everybody, okay? Nice control, now pass it. On the chest. What are you doing? On the chest, on the chest. How was it? Do not use your hands. I should have double bagged it. Come on, girls, keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> Guess there's one downside of being a woman. Make that too. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> like you would know. Control the ball, pass it, pass it over. Right, Freddie, you totally rocked that slide tackle drill today, girl. Well, what can I say? I'm a rock star. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, Freddie. See, you got me a mosh pit. Do you need another shirt? No, I've got one. I'll just go run and change. Hey, do it out here. We'll cover yeah. you. No! No, it's cool. <laughs> I'll just be a sec. Just watch the door. Dog. Um, hey. <laughs> you can totally change out here. Unless, of course, you're hiding something. What? No. Believe me, Heather and I have seen it all. The good, the bad. The girl who has the mole with teeth. <laughs> I'm fine. Just using the bathroom. Number three or number four? Remind me never to go to the bathroom with you again. the extra help with these speed drills, but this is futile. Don't get confused on the speed part of it. Start off slow. Don't worry about the clock. Just concentrate on keeping it clean. OK, try to keep it under control. Don't be so tough on yourself. Just because you can't do a silly little drill during practice doesn't mean you won't excel during a game. Are you just saying that to create a safe environment where I can fail? Marnie, everybody brings something different to the game. Diversity is what makes a great team. That cute blogging boy I was telling you about that goes to the attitude all the time? Great. What's his name? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't said a word to him. Why not? Well, I can't just walk up to him and say, hi, my name is Vita. So what kind of gum do you chew? Well, of course not. But why can't you just go over there, sit down, and, and let it happen? Really? I have a good feeling about this. Uh -huh. Nah, I can't. Do you want to go shopping or something? What's your middle name? Why? You'll see. Marie? Thank you. 
Vita Marie Atwood, you march over there and go talk to that boy right now. What's the worst that could happen? Wait, where are you going? Shopping. <laughs> Are you looking at something crazy funny, or are you just crazy? Uh, both. <laughs> it, what's your screen name? I'll send you the video. Vita Loca. <laughs> Monkey and Cowboy Hat, funny. <laughs> Monkey and Cowboy Hat riding dog, even funnier. <laughs> hey, you want a hot chocolate or something? Yeah, definitely. All right. You know, actually, I, I'm late for something. So, uh, sorry. I guess we'll always have the rodeo monkey. Hey, guys. Are you guys all bummed? OK, you know what cheers me up? Two seconds remaining in a tied game. I score the winning goal. Oh, yeah, my new pink fuzzy sweater. Did you not hear me? It's pink and fuzzy. I don't care if it's pink, fuzzy, and fluffy. I'm still bummed. Remember cute blogging boy? He finally noticed me. So we stood up, and he came up to, like, my knee. And then he ran out. I'm officially sick of being tall. OK, if cute blogging boy doesn't like you because of your height, man, he's even smaller than he looks. I mean, no offense, but you guys just don't get it. I mean, you're normal. Yeah, normal for a boy. Don't know if you've noticed, but at the rate I'm growing, I won't need a training bra till I'm 80. Yeah, we noticed. <laughs> nice, Freddie, real sensitive. Gotta do an advice column for the school paper. Don't ask Freddie. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you shouldn't feel bad because I've got you both beat. That is impossible. Trust me. Come on, what is it? A curse. Come on, Freddie, just tell us. What's the problem? <sighs> I've got back knee. Isn't that a Greek dessert? I've got back knee, back knee, OK? Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Freddy. Acne vulgaris is very common among young female athletes. So you guys have it, too? <laughs> no, no. Uh -huh. Are you kidding? But it's OK if you do. OK, so Alexa Vita's got the whole height thing. I'm the one with, you know, and Lauren's the one with the, you know. So what's your problem? What do you mean? Come on, there's got to be something about you that bothers you. Um. Actually, I do have one I have a freckle on my knee. You have got to be kidding me. No, no, it's really there. The truth be told, it's adorable. I have to live life as a walking ironing board, and you have a freckle on your knee? You know, actually, it's more striking than adorable. But don't hold it against me. Yeah, I'll try not to, but I doubt I'll be successful. Ah, uh, uh. oh, it's my mom. This Alexa. She cannot cancel? She's having a baby. She went into labor this morning. Where? What hospital? Are there visiting hours? I can get you in to see another wax the next week. No, no, next week is too late. live life as a walking ironing board. I guess there's one downside of being a woman. Make that too. So sorry. <sighs> sorry again. So you're on the all cantaloupe diet too? Actually, an all cantaloupe diet could lead to an overdose of vitamin A, which studies have shown could cause me to run at the mouth, which I do often. Hey, I'm not complaining. 
You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Try me. Can I borrow a plum pucker? Thank you. Got to wear her pink fuzzy sweater. So, his name's Cole, and he's meeting me here for our first official date. Okay, if Alexa were here today, she'd be going. To... Details! Oh. Details! Well, he's totally cute and just like me. He read the Odyssey, even though he didn't have to. And after the whole cantaloupe thing, he wanted to get coffee, and I wanted to get ice cream, so we went and we got coffee ice cream. But with sprinkles. We both love sprinkles. <laughs> okay, print up the wedding invitations, and then what happened? <laughs> well, then I had to go to violin practice, but we I M'd all night, and I made him LOL four different times. Oh, okay, <laughs> if he's half as cute as this guy coming over here? No, he's 100% as cute as that guy, because he is that guy. Hey, Cole. Hey. So I was thinking we'd go see a movie? Maybe something with subtitles? Très bien. Well, practice is almost over. I'll just go change. Sorry. A little help. Uh, sure, I'll, uh, I'll wait and you'll get changed. Okay, he is 150% as cute as you said. Oh, no. Don't tell me the cheese moving in on him. No, Lauren, he still likes you. Yeah, but he's a guy, and guys like girls who have big... brains? Actually, I got some bad news. I'm gonna have to cancel. Oh. I'm sorry. I... We'll reschedule. It's... it's just this thing came up and. Right. Right.
wearing that band-aid? Tragic spork accident? Don't ask. You guys, I have a confession. Mmm, juicy. You know, the pounding the dog chewed up the other day? Well, that was from my bra. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> what else are you going to tell us? The water's wet. Yeah. You guys knew? Well, you did kind of have a sudden growth spurt. Well, it's, it's just that the whole thing with Cole and Tracy, I just, I figured if you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> if he wants Tracy, then you don't want him. Lauren, do you feel a little better getting this off your chest? Okay, come on, you guys. My grandmother says you should be able to laugh about anything. Oh, yeah, and I should be able to laugh when people ask me how the weather is up here. And I should be able to laugh at the fact that you meet a cute guy and he offers to help you with your cantaloupes. And, well, all he's interested in is somebody else's cantaloupes. Yeah, I guess, to be honest, I'm not ready to joke about my thing either. I bet your problem is not as bad as you think. Why don't you show us? No! Vita, please, we're eating. So, you think we're going to beat those Metro stars tomorrow, guys? Why don't you just show us? I'll be honest with you. Is that the worst thing you've ever seen? It's not as bad as my sister's was. Elise had back knee, but she's a model. Yeah, and hers went away. Yours will too. Wow. I can't believe it. Elise, huh? And she doesn't have it anymore? Yeah. It's not a life sentence. You know, that actually makes me feel better. Please tell me that she also well, you know, needed padding. <laughs> Can we please talk about something else? I'm too tall. I'm too flat. I've got pimples on my back. Keep it on rest. What is your problem? Well, isn't it okay that we keep some things private? I mean, do we have to talk about every single thing in our lives? What's really under that Band-Aid? I'm not showing you. If you don't rip that Band-Aid off, I will. I'll show you guys what's wrong with me so you can go ahead and laugh all you want at my big bushy mustache. Um, I'd love to if you had one. Yeah, what are you talking about? You don't see it? No. <laughs> Alexa, it's totally in your mind. You guys, I know I have lip hair, but I get a wax every four weeks, but my stupid waxer had this stupid little baby and I love me with this. Look, Alexa, I mean, whatever you have, you totally need a magnifying glass to yeah. see it. Okay. Okay, maybe it's not that noticeable. But if I let it go, everyone will notice it, and then... And then what? They'll make fun of me. Alexa, do you remember that speed drill where Marty spent, like, six hours trying to dribble around the cones in under, like, a minute? Do you remember that? And she oh, never did right, it. Right, because she's just not that fast. And what did the coach say? In soccer, you're not going to be perfect in every area, but that doesn't make you a lesser player. And that's true in more than just soccer. I mean, you might have a little lip hair. And it doesn't make you a lesser person. Yeah, but then again, the coach also does refer to soccer as a football. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday really helped out Alexa. Yeah.
Good thing you're back. <laughs> Good thing you're not. <laughs> Lauren, I've been calling. Emailing, text messaging, emailing my text messages, text messaging my emails. You blew me off. I'm not rescheduling my day with you. No, I, I told you something came up. <laughs> something came up that's so expired. What came up? My grandmother fell. I know it's a great week for my parents to be out of town. She had no one to call but me. Luckily, she's OK. It's just a scrape. Oh, well, in that case, uh, do you want to get some coffee? I was thinking ice cream. Just give me a minute. I've got to tell somebody something. <laughs> His grandmother fell. He likes me. <gasps> generate a lot of power. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I'm pretending the ball is my little brother's head. He put glue in my shampoo bottle. I had to condition last night with turpentine. <laughs> my little brother, he sold my LeBron James rookie card to buy some way cool limited edition Frodo doll from the Lord of the Rings. Uh, way cool and Lord of the Rings? I, I don't, don't think, think so. so. <laughs> I'm Ryan. Um, I'm Vita. <laughs> So, would you maybe want to hang out sometime, go to a movie, and don't give me that old, I have to stay home and wash my hair with glue excuse. I like movies. Oh, that's me. So, tomorrow, the multiplex at 43rd and 2nd, 7 o'clock? Um, definitely. I'll see you then. Wow. Who was that? That is who I'm going with to the movies tomorrow night. Ooh! Vita's got a boyfriend. Vita's got a boyfriend. You know, that was a lot funnier when we thought boys were icky. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's it's funny, but I swear I know him from somewhere. Stop! <laughs> Stop! You're hurting me. S Stop! You're hurting me. Stop! Stop! You're hurting me! I do know him. We went to elementary school together. Really? Thanks. Were you friends? Well, if me hitting him in the face and making him cry counts, then yes, we were friends. What? In the third grade, after he took my juice box. Then he got the nickname Crying Ryan. OK. <laughs> Never take Vita's juice box. Don't worry, I'm sure he doesn't remember. Right, you probably just beat the memory right out of him. <laughs>
Ryan still going out tonight? Yep, so far so good on him not remembering me. <laughs> well, if he does, just blame it on your evil twin sister who threatened to steal your identity unless you beat up her arch enemy, Ryan. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Freddie, why are you doing an Irish jig? Uh, none of your business. Freddie, are you okay? I have to pee, thank you for your concern. Mm, yeah, that is quite the quandary. <laughs> Here's an idea. Why don't you go to the bathroom? <laughs> I will. But you're not. You know, Freddie, we've noticed, you have a little thing about public bathrooms. No, I don't. I go at the Attitude Cafe. <laughs> yeah, but we never see you go out here. Well, that's because the ones in the park are just kind of skeevy. Look, Freddie, if you don't go to the bathroom now, you're going to be uncomfortable all practice. No, I won't, because I just won't drink anything. <sighs> I got a secret that I can't tell And I can't seem to break this spell If I can make it through one more day There'll be no more blues to chase away Please drink something already, you're turning red. And trust me, red really isn't your color. No, that's okay, I'm fine. Okay. I'm so Gotta hold on. Hold on, baby. Run through life on my feet up play. Gotta hold on. Hold on, baby. Freddie, you need to drink something. If you get dehydrated, you're gonna cramp. And if you cramp, you're gonna pull a hamstring. And if you pull a hamstring, then you're gonna be out for three to five days, minimum. Don't even get me started on your electrolytes. Drink. I'm fine. All right. I know we've been working you girls pretty hard lately, but it's all in an effort to make you better, to push you to achieve our goal. And what's our goal? Be number one. 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 Okay, you heard her. Wind sprints. Everybody go! Chop, chop! So, I heard it's pretty good. I know, I heard it was great. I'm so excited. You know, you look so familiar to me. Oh, you know, it's probably just from soccer. So, how long you been playing? Practically ever since I could walk. Actually, even longer than that, if you count the times I was kicking inside my mom's womb. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I mean, I can't describe it. It's like soccer is just this thing in my life. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't play it. <laughs> that must sound lame. Are you kidding me? That's exactly how I feel. You know, I've never met a girl like you. Um, that's right. You have never met a girl like me. I mean, we've never met. I mean, where could we have possibly met? So, movie snacks. Are you a chocolate dud dude or a gooey gummy guy? <laughs> you know what I love about movie theater popcorn? Is that they actually use the real fake butter stuff, not that fake, fake butter stuff. I know. I hate that fake, fake butter stuff. <laughs> Yo, stretch. Down in front. Excuse me? I can't see the screen over your freakishly large head. You got a problem? No, you do. The loser stuff called? They're missing one of you and one of you. Why don't you just sit down and chill out? Make me. What? You don't think I can make you? You think I couldn't make you? Give back my juice box. Make me! You think I couldn't make you? Oh. You better give it back to me. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan! Ryan, Ryan! Ryan, Ryan! Well? Whatever. Leave these two dorks alone. Yo, let's lick the straws in the straw dispensers. Looks like we got somebody else's head to imagine on the soccer ball tomorrow. <laughs> what? You're the girl with the juice box. The one that beat me up. Yeah, I should've... So you remembered? 
Yeah, but it was so long ago, I didn't even think it mattered. Right. It doesn't. I mean, so some girl beat me up in the first grade. Big deal. <laughs> it was the third grade. Third? Yeah. Look, I'm really sorry, okay? Yeah, you said that. It's no biggie. Uh, I should have gotten something to drink. Here, have mine. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. Still, brought back a chill. And when he realized who I was, he kind of shut down for the rest of the night. He was like totally embarrassed. What are you gonna do? I don't know, I mean, Ryan's cute and sweet and everything, but he obviously cannot accept the fact that six years ago, I opened up a can of whoop butt on him. So you opened up a can of, um, what you call it? Whoop butt. Whoop butt on him six years ago, but here's what you gotta do now. Make him feel like he's in control, like he's the big strong one. Why does she even do that? Because guys need to feel like they're in command, Freddy. It's, it's like the TV remote. Guys need to hold it. Click, 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 don't like that. Turn to this, don't like this, turn to that. Ooh, wrestling! It gives them the illusion of power, of control. And that, Vita, is what you need to do. Give Ryan the remote. So, how do I do that? I mean, other than when we're watching TV. You know, act kind of girly. What if Vita doesn't want to act girly? Yeah, you're not saying she should act like fake, are you? No, not fake. And you're, you're not really giving him control. Do it right and you will have all the power. Okay, here, watch. Um, hey, Evan. Hi, we can't really uh, open this. Would you mind? Sure. There you go. Thank you so much. Glad I could be of service. Where's your food? <laughs> oh, I just like the smell. <laughs> Fresh <laughs> tomatoes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that is how it is done. <laughs> Freddie, we need to talk. Okay, we're your friends, and when friends have problems, friends do interventions. So we are intervening. Intervention? I don't need an intervention. Uh, girl, you can't pee in public, and uh, that's a problem. You told him? I can't believe you. Who else knows? I don't know. I mean, I guess anyone who had my webpage. But don't worry. Names are changed to protect the innocent. I spelled Freddie with an IE at the end. I do spell my name with an IE at the end. Huh. Well, it's a thought that counts. Anyway, I told Chris because I think he can help you. No, I am so not having this conversation. Freddie, your little phobia is starting to affect your game. And you can't keep running to the cafe every time you have to go because you're afraid to use the bathroom at the field. It's OK. I can relate. As a bike messenger, you never know where you're going to be when you got to go. That's why some of my messenger buddies and I came up with this. A map? Oh, of the very best, or as we like to call it, four plunger bathrooms in Manhattan. Here's the Central Park area. Really? Look, they've marked each public bathroom with color-coded plungers. Green means clean, yellow means iffy. And red means you might as well go in your pants. Well, what does this black plunger mean? Oh, that means there's a bathroom attendant on the premises. Not necessarily a good thing, because does that mean your tip covers the whole day, or is it a paper pee thing? I guess it depends on the guy. Maybe this is a mistake. We're enabling Freddie with her problem when we really should be helping her defeat it. Yeah, I read in this medical journal that holding it in is a leading cause to bladder infections. Freddie, you just need to be more like the little engine that could. Repeat after me. I think I can. I think I can. Go on the can. What? Say it. Yeah, come on. Go on the can. I think I can. Go on the can. I think I can go on the can. I think I can go on the can. I think I can go on the can. There you go, girl, in public. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, 
I know. Oh, yeah, she can't just push this aside. Like, That's right. What? Go talk to him. No, I can't. Repeat after me. I think I can. OK, I'll go with you. Just remember, he needs to feel strong. OK, go. Fine. <laughs> hey, Ryan. Uh, hi. Um, you know, Ryan, you really ought to play Vita. She is so good at this game. Oh, uh, I, I think the program shut down or something. Oh, well, that's okay. There's always next. Uh, let me see here. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. Trust me. So, I guess you're first. Um, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh you're running the wrong way. Jeez, I just get so confused with all this mechanical stuff. Don't worry, I'll show you how it works. I think so. You think so? No, no. Freddy, you know so. Okay, today is a day that will go down in history. For today, you will pee in a New York City public bathroom. Mm -hmm. It looks so unclean, even from out here. No. Freddy, don't worry about it, all right? Chris rated it a three and a half plungers, noting that the only thing keeping it from a four was that someone crossed off the instructions on the hand dryer from push button to push butt. Uh, I don't know. Freddy, come on. If anyone can do this, you can. You know what? You're right. I can do this. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. Nope. 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 Hey, you tried it. That's the important thing. Look, I know you're bummed. So let's let's try to think of something that'll cheer you up, like making the U.S. Olympic soccer team. Oh, I hear okay. they would try. It's right here in Central Park. Just imagine yourself in that moment. All your friends and your family are here to cheer you on. And you're about to dazzle them with your amazing corner kick. <laughs> but you have to pee. Bad. The nearest public bathroom is this very bathroom. But you can't go because you never conquered your fears. So you run to the Attitude Cafe because they have the only bathrooms you find sufficiently clean, but they're closed. So you go in search of another bathroom. Meanwhile, the coach is here and assumes you're not coming back, so he gives your Olympic roster spot away to someone else who is so not as good as you. And you, well, you do find a bathroom, but you never find Olympic gold. And you never get over it. You withdraw into yourself and you become one of those weird cat ladies who all the kids are afraid to trick or treat from. And not just any cats, but the little freaky ones with no hair. All because you couldn't pee in a public bathroom. All right, I gotta go find the lesson. See you later, Freddy. Lauren, wait. Listen up! In a few minutes, we're going to hold a little scrimmage. Boys versus girls. Winner gets bragging rights. Loser has to clean my motorbike. Just kidding. All right, listen. Now, what we're going to do is, big girls, you're going to be my friend. Yes! Three for three. Think you can match it? <laughs> Watch and learn. Ooh, jinx. Hey, better, better, hey. Come on. Yes, 
I told you. <laughs> told you. Congratulations. Scoreboard, baby. <laughs> OK. OK, settle down. Oh, who's being a sore loser? <laughs> I'm not even being a sore loser. In fact, it might just surprise you to know that I just let you win. What? You're dreaming, Vita. <laughs> yeah. I tried to build your confidence because of that little fight that we had back in the third grade. But you know what? Now that I think about it, I didn't just beat you up because you tried to swipe my juice box. I beat you up because you can be an obnoxious meanie. <laughs> wow. You just will not let this juice box thing go, will you? Trust me. I let it go. Good. Take your positions. Come on, girls. Let's win this. Let's go. So how's it going with Ryan? <laughs> not now. Let's go! Gonna take you to school now Cause I got something to prove now Then the game of Barbie and Kim That gonna Push over, you might think I'm a play best. But now you're playing Russian roulette. What you see is what you get. Alexa, Vina's open. With no regrets. You seem pretty quiet now. Because I don't have much to say. Except you were awesome out there. <laughs> I mean it. Thanks. At least this time I didn't make you cry. It's because I'm holding back the tears. Trust me. So why'd you let me win earlier? <sighs> okay. Alexa told some guy that she liked the way his ketchup smelled and long story. And I'm just not that type of person. Huh? <laughs> Look, Ryan, you seem like a pretty cool guy. It's just that. If I'm going to be with people, I have to be with people that I can be myself with. Fair enough. So, V, I'll see you on the field? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys can stop pretending like you're having a conversation. I know you're eavesdropping. OK, because I was sick of saying potato, potato, potato <laughs> over and over to Alexa. <laughs> that was awesome, Vita. You know, I'm really sorry I gave you the wrong advice. Actually, you gave me the right advice. I just acted girly in the way that I knew how. Excuse me, ladies. I have something for you, Alexa. I know how much you love this smell. And plus, it's got a flip top. Thank you. You're welcome.
Save it for the game. Which, by the way, is Saturday, Blouser Field, 9 o'clock uh, a.m. 9 o'clock? Coach, you better be bringing donuts because I am so not a morning person. Actually, Freddie, I want you guys there at 8. Cleats on, ready to rip. Oh, I'm going to have to wake up at 4. 4? Why? Well, I have a very detailed morning routine. I wash, blow dry, sports makeup. Not to mention I have to take a bus and change trains three times. All right, any other questions, comments, or complaining? Actually, Coach, I'll probably be there a little early, since I can see Blouser Field from my bedroom window. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, look, if you guys want to avoid the commute and actually get an extra hour of sleep, Vita's Casa es su casa. Hey, Glorious! Just be there at 8, OK? All right, good practice. Rookies, clear the field. Your parents really won't mind? Actually, no. Um, my Nana just got a new hip, so my mom, dad, and Ty are going to visit her up in Boston. So there'll be no adult supervision? Oh, don't worry, Lauren. It's OK. I'll tuck you in and read you a story. It's not me. I'm cool. My mom will want to know. My sister Elise is in charge. She's a senior. She's got a driver's license, and she knows CPR. Oh, well, great. It'll be fun, then. Strikers on three! <laughs> One, two, two three, three, Strikers! me in charge, and if mom's head gets broken, I'll never hear the end of it. I'm telling you, it's gonna be tame tonight. It's never tame <laughs> at a slumber party. Elise, this is a pre-game sleepover. Okay, we're gonna eat, we're gonna get pumped for the game, and then we're gonna hit the rack. Trust me, sister, when a bunch of 14-year-old girls spend the night together, it's called a slumber party. <laughs> Sorry. Chris, you know I don't like it. What's all this about? Off the hook costume party at the art space. And what, you're, you're going as Milner's? The doctor, Evan will be here in a minute. He says he has a few last minute touch-ups to make to his costume. Oh really, what's he going as? Who knows, but I can guarantee you, it'll be stupid. Open up and say ah. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, nothing. Um, your costume, it's so original. <laughs> Dude! You're killing me! You said you were going as Paris Hilton! Couldn't make it work. You gotta change. 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 You. Uh, you. Excuse me, yeah. boys. Um, but it's very clear to me, Evan, that you are a neurosurgeon. And, Chris, you are the world's foremost orthopedic specialist. Nice. But which one makes more? OK, according to my calculations, we will be in Boston in four hours and 12 minutes. That's great, honey. <laughs> what if we have to stop a couple of times? I already factored in. We got two short, quick pit stops, eight to 12 minutes apiece, pew, back on the road. <laughs> Nana is going to be so surprised to see us. Surprised? You didn't tell her we were coming? <laughs> She's got a broken hip. Where's she going to go? Besides, she loves surprises. All right, if you say so. Oh. What's that? Oh, flat tire. Oh, well, so much for your schedule. Nuh-uh. Emergency road contingencies built into the schedule. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You time me now. Time okay. me. 
House. This is a palace. Number seven, Lauren Zelmer in the house. <laughs> hey. Hey. Wow. <gasps> wow. Wonder what we can get online for this stuff. Wow, this is an amazing reproduction of an ancient sub-Saharan mask. It was used by the villagers for strength in times of turmoil. <laughs> ancient, yes. Reproduction, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. When you come over to my place, you could touch all my bobbleheads. <laughs> <laughs> What's with all the blankets? I mean, don't you have a sleeping bag? What? Well, I, I didn't know what to bring. <laughs> Haven't you ever been to a sleepover before? <laughs> Yeah, I stay at my granny's all the time. Well, won't be needing this. <sighs> Leave your shoes by the door, bags in the sunroom, and keep your paws off the artwork. Um, hey, girls, just, you know, make yourselves at home, okay? <laughs> Marnie, what are you doing? Helping? Let's get the party started! Alexa, I didn't know this was a four-game road trip. Is that the white shirt I let you borrow after last game? No. This? Th this is gray. All right, yeah, I got it mixed in with the darks. <gasps> anyway, I read in The Voice about a really good pizza place. It's called Eni Zotos. It's supposed to be the best. Oh. No need. See, I'm creating some high-protein pasta. It's my favorite night before the game meal. And I got to turn in the highlight disc from last year. I thought that we could eat and watch it. Oh, uh, sorry, V, but tonight's the two-hour finale of Chelsea Heights. <gasps> oh, I, I can't wait. Do you think Ryan's going to make it? Uh, yeah, I mean, of course. He always does. What are you talking about? Ryan's in a coma. He got attacked by a shark. Uh, yeah, well... Sharks rarely attack humans unless they're provoked. Great! Lauren can be our logic police tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Get plenty of rest. <laughs> Doctor, looks like we have a situation over here that needs your attention. Stat. Looks like I'm gonna have to perform a babectomy. <laughs> Let's do it. What are you, crazy? Those are like college ladies. They're way out of our league. What? We are in high school. What are we gonna talk to them about? Dude, we get off in like four minutes. What do you got to lose? Dr. D'Amico. Huh? Dr. Rubisi? I'm in. Check your drawstring. Oh. Thought I felt a bit of a draft. It's three o'clock in the morning. You know it's likely to come. Such a jerk. He wouldn't be such a jerk if Brenda didn't make out with that lifeguard. He was giving her mouth to mouth. Oh, come on! Okay, what's on next? Uh, our strikers, we don't need a TV to have fun. Let's 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 do something more interactive. Like? Like like playing cards. Who knows crazy eights? No. Mm. Oh. Ooh! I know. Charades. Yeah? Anybody? I like that. You? You? Yeah. Well, I played at my Aunt Pat's house. I'm not sure I remember all the signals, though. 
Oh, that's okay. We need a timekeeper, so that can just be you. Okay, so do you want to be on my team? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, does anybody have a watch? The three of us, right? Okay. And then the three of them. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, that, that, that'll gonna work. We're going to get you. Pizza delivery. I didn't order any pizzas. Uh, I've got $37 worth of pizza here. You're not Freddy Costello? No. I am. Keep the change. It's not much, but I'm only 14. Um, Bruce? Bruce Spatello? Alexa D'Amico? <laughs> From Camp Iroquois? Building strong minds and healthy bodies. One moxin at a time. <laughs> hey, do you remember the secret handshake? Freddy, I'm making my pasta, remember? I know, but how often do I get out here? I gotta try this. Cheese pizza 10 hours before a game? There's pepperoni on it. Guys, pizza. Or pasta. <laughs> Boy, those double shifts at the hospital really take the starch out of my shorts. I concur, Doctor. But you know, at the end of the day, saving lives just never gets old. Excuse me. I couldn't help overhearing your conversation. Are you both really doctors? Well, actually, we're just going to... Surgery. Why, we don't look like doctors? No, it's just that you look so young and cute. I'm Heidi, and this is Molly. Hi. Dr. Rabisi, Dr. D'Amico. Pleasure. I feel like we might have a lot in common. You know what? I feel the same thing, too. So, what do you think about the new advancements in laser surgery? Love to tell you, but unfortunately, my partner and I gotta get off at the next stop, so... Ladies and gentlemen, nothing to be alarmed about. We have a stalled train up ahead of us. Just be a second. So, uh, laser surgery, I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hate it. Not a big fan. Um, um, you're breakdancing. You're a breakdancer. Oh, oh, um, oh. Whoops. Uh, you, you're having a seizure. You're putting on jeans. Mm, no, you dork. No, you can't talk, Freddy. <laughs> okay, um, um, you're a chicken. You live on a farm. You're old McDonald. It's Thanksgiving. You're a turkey. You're a turkey. You're a happy turkey. You're a, you're a you're playing hopscotch. You're running to a holiday shopping sale. No. Just to double check, there's no dairy or shellfish or mango. No! Okay, I'm sorry about that, Marnie. It's just that they're being really noisy, and they don't seem to care that the only reason why they're here is because we have a soccer game tomorrow. You're I know. The early bird gets the worm. That'll shut him up. Early bird gets the worm? <laughs> what were you doing on the ground? I was being the worm. You were being the worm? What are you talking about? You were being on the worm. You didn't look like a worm. Did you see me wiggle? Yeah, you were like flopping like a fish. I did she look like a worm to you? No, she did not look, you did not look like a worm. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. You're also at this game, Freddy. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, just a minute. Hey, Laura, it's your mom. Hey, V, is there any more pasta left? Yeah. Looks like you're gonna have to have pizza like everybody else. Hey, Mom. Uh-huh, now, how was that for a pit stop, huh? Very nice, Steve. Yeah. Awesome, Dad. <laughs> 26 minutes. They need to have me working at the Indy 500. That's what I'm talking about, huh? Oh, oh no, 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 boy, uh-uh. What? If we take one less bathroom break and up our average speed, we can make this time. We'll make this time, huh? Honey, the last thing we need is a speeding ticket. Please. Yeah, that'll really put us behind schedule. Come on, now. No one drives the speed limit anymore. You know that. Right. And that little sign back there is just a little suggestion <laughs> to the other people on the road. Sweetheart, they give you a seven mile an hour cushion at least, okay? It's an unwritten rule. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Unbelievable. Guess he didn't know about the unwritten rule. <gasps> Mom, I know I'm not the most assertive person in the world, 
But I don't know if these girls are just being really, really mean or if I'm just being stupid. No, no, no. Uh, go to your movie. I'm fine. I'll just, I'll just study. Love you. Who are you guys? Uh, that's Milton Brad. What are you doing in here? Well, we thought we could use a couple more pies. Oh, it's on the house. Out. Well, can't we just hang out? We were just talking. No! Lights out! Who says no to free pizza? It happened a couple months ago when I was playing a lot of tennis. Hmm. So do you wear short pleated tennis skirts or just shorts? Shorts? Why? What difference does it make? Please. I'm conducting an examination. No. Does it hurt when I do this? Yes. OK. Don't do that. You know, a little uh, grape juice and an ice tray, you can make your own giant ice pops. So what kind of doctor are you? Arm. Arm? Uh, yeah, I never go north of the shoulder or south of the wrist. You're either really funny or really dumb. <laughs> Thanks. Finally. Can you excuse me for a second? Hey. Evan, this whole doctor thing, I mean, I'm sounding like a total lame -up. I really like this girl. I know, I like mine too. It doesn't feel right. Here we are connecting, and I'm lying to her face. Yeah, this is bad. Maybe I should be the arm doctor. No, we gotta come clean. I mean, we're two totally awesome guys. You're the tall, handsome Manhattan Smoothie King. And you're the kick-butt bike messenger with great hair. Let's do this. Sure. Dr. D'Amico, just to let you know, we're both third-year medical students. But your eyes pop sound fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that costume party ought to be hopping about now. Let's roll. Guys, I'm a little concerned about Vita. She seems really upset. Don't sweat it. She'll get some sleep. She'll feel better in the morning. Popcorn, anybody? Yo, Lauren, I, I totally called that root beer. It was in the very back. Yeah, I know. It was the last one. Who do you think put it there? Mine. Not today, Missy. Charles Atwood? Hey, it's your Nana. Don't tell him we're coming to see you guys. So how you feeling? Right? You're in Miami. Oh, that's great. Yeah, no, Miami is high. Yeah. OK. Well, no, you tell Uncle Terrence we said hello. And I'm, I'm glad you're feeling better. Bye-bye. Surprise. Marnie. Marnie, are you awake? No. What was the Vikings record last season? 16 and 2. Did they beat the Cardinals? Oh, Stone and penalty kick 5 4. Thanks. Hey, Marnie, do I obsess over soccer? Yes. Well, is it a problem? No, Vita. It's just the way you are. Are you kidding me? Sorry, guys, but there's a situation. Now what? 
Do you think it's fun being a timekeeper in charades? Don't answer that. That's a rhetorical question. It's not. OK, sweetheart, just give that to me. No, not until I'm finished. FYI, this is a slumber party. Let's look at the scoreboard for a minute. How many pieces of pizza everyone else got? Everyone else, some. Lauren, zero. All this over a root beer? Lauren, save the drama for your mama. Freddie, can it? This is serious. Pizza boy leaves and now you suddenly care? I knew him from camp. Excuse but me. This is about me. All right, that is enough. Lauren, hand it over. Okay, Lauren, no one is intentionally trying to take advantage of you. You are a giver, Lauren. That's who you are. I know, and it stinks. No, it doesn't. Because that same quality is what makes you such a great passer on the field. I never thought of it like that. Well, I have. I've been talking to Marnie a lot. Right, Marnie? And Alexa, you are always so upbeat and chatty. And I gotta say, sometimes it's annoying. I really do know him from camp. But on the field, you and everyone else knows when somebody needs a great pep talk. And Freddie, what's up with the charades? I thought you were going to tear somebody's head off. I hate to lose. Exactly. See, and on the field, that fire is what inspires us all. There are 14 girls that make up the Power Strikers. And we're all weird and different and cool in our own way. But in the end, that's what makes us such a great team. V, I'm sorry we wrecked the evening. Oh, no, it's OK. It would not have hurt if I'd have lightened up a bit. Oh, hey, if we hit the sack now, we'll be OK for the game tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. It's payback time. <laughs> Make the best of what you got now. Better days will come around now. It's your mom. Tell her I love her very much, and I'll call her later. Yeah, I think so. Our defense is pretty strong, but our offense needs a little. And you might be? Ty Atwood, Peter's brother, and Alexis' future boo. Uh, okay, good luck on both accounts, mate. All right, ladies, get plenty of rest. We've got the Falcon game coming up. Hey, Vita. Hey, Chris. Yo, Ty. What's up, man? What's good? Hey, Alexa, we gotta go. We gotta meet the Prentles. Hey. Hello, Ty. Again? Great practice. I really liked your moves out there. You know what I mean? Ty, maybe you could wait somewhere else, like in the middle of 42nd and Broadway? I'm surprised you suggested such a thing. I could get hit by a bus. Nope, I'm good here. Well, can you just give us some space, please? OK. But one minute away from this beauty is one minute too long. Think about it. Think about that. 
Okay, he is now driving me insane. I know he's your brother, but I've got two options. Tell him it's never gonna happen, or kill him. You know, let me think about that. <sighs> what? Are you completely heartless? I mean, this is probably the kid's first crush. He'll destroy him. You remember Scarlett Mason? No. My first crush broke my heart in my tricycle. So what are you saying? I should be his girlfriend? No. Make him decide that he doesn't like you. How do I do that? Just talk to him. Really talk to him. Trust me. You'll bore him to death. OK. But if he calls me his boo one more time, I am shooting him down, and he can boo-hoo all the way home. a little to the left, but we could work on that. Whatever you say, coach. Do you know her? Yeah, you could say that. Oh. Lauren, Alexa, this is Lucy, my grandmother. Lucy, sweet kid. <laughs> I cannot believe you're a grandmother. My Nana Lou is on her third hip. <laughs> nice to meet you. Pleasure is all mine. Freddie is always talking about you. Isn't she awesome? She also teaches yoga, speaks three different languages, and Makes the best pizza in the village. Nihongo o hanashimasu ka? Hanaseru yo. Violin hikeru no? Tashi mo hikeru yo? Takisai no naji yo na koto ga arimasu ne. So ne, kondo isho ni ikimashou. Okay, I'm totally feeling left out. Are you guys talking about that cute guy from the snack shop? <laughs> we weren't talking about him, we just discovered that we both play the violin. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, almost as cool as you guys talking Japanese together. I bet you don't play as good as my grandma. Freddy. Next day, I'm pretty good. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you bring it to our apartment and put your violin where your mouth is? Literally. Or you could just come over for dinner and bring the violin. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, but seriously, you guys weren't talking about that hottie boom bilati? <laughs> <laughs> would be such a talented violinist. Thanks. You know, you're not too bad yourself. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate to break up this little fiddle fun fest, but I say it's time for some no limit, high, low, Texas Hold'em, who's in, ladies? Um, sorry, what? Poker. Lucy and I play all the time. It's our thing. Do you play? Uh, no. Do you have any money? A little. Well, have a seat. You're what I like to call the perfect player. Freddy, first of all, you know we never play for money. Secondly, what do you say you break out the cards a little bit later? Lauren and I are kind of in a groove over here. A groove? Do you know Beetle in the bottom of a bucket? Of course. Mm -hmm. Freddy, please, you don't mind if we play a little bit longer, do you? No, by all means. Don't want to mess up the groove. <laughs> Sweet. Chris told me that I should just... Wait, you're taking brush-off advice from a guy? 
Okay, look, I know my little brother, and he can be the most single-minded, annoying little pest on the face of the earth. Really? Yeah. Alexa, you have to crush his crush. Look, my dad's dropping him off in a couple of minutes so we can take the train home together. Okay, um, so how do I crush his crush? Well, first you have to look at why he likes you. Why? Because as he said last night, you're the most coolest girl in the entire universe. So I shouldn't be cool. Hey, Vita. Last night was so much fun. Your grandma is the coolest grandmother I've ever met. And you were right, her pizza is off the proverbial hook. Told ya. <laughs> what a musician. I loved jamming with her. Yeah, you two are like the Olsen twins of the violin world. <laughs> I love hanging out with your grandma. Is that weird? Very weird. <laughs> Just kidding. Me grandma, su grandma. That's Spanish. <laughs> how much I missed you today. Me too. Mmm, yummy. You got a big appetite. You want some ketchup with that? <laughs> Alexa's got terrible table manners. Mm. Cool. Me too. <laughs> I definitely want a girlfriend like that. Hello. 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 Oh, hey, Mrs. Elmer. Yeah. Uh, she's right here. It's your mom. She's looking for you. Hey, Mom. Really, how many tickets can you get? Really? Yeah, that's, that's perfect. I know just who I'll invite. Mom, Mom, just put another quarter in. Put... OK, I'll call you later. She needs to get a phone card. Guess what? So my mom's boss gave her tickets for the ballet tonight. She can't go, so I want you and Lucy to come. Um. It's Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. Yeah. Well, it's like you said. It'll be the three of us. And you said the grandma is Sue Grandma. Um, sounds great. Count us in. <laughs> Why is she crying? She's very emotional. I mean, she cries all the time. I'm sorry, what were we talking about? You were doing your laundry, and um, you put the bleach in with the colors. <laughs> OK, this is getting old. All she needs is a love of a good man. <laughs> Don't worry, you're going to be all right. Really. Cheer up. <laughs> Tchaikovsky. How do you spell that? Chai, um, as in chai latte. Okay, C H A I. What are you doing, honey? Um, just some research. <laughs> it's so nice of Lauren to invite us to the ballet. Are you excited? <laughs> are you kidding? I'm gonna shower and everything. <laughs> Swan Lake is one of my favorites. A Russian classic. Oh, it's beyond classic. It's super classic. Really? Yeah. I'm so happy to hear that. It's so cool that you're broadening your horizons. We'll have fun tonight. Uh, you know it. <laughs> Oh, 
sorry. Lucy, I am so excited about seeing this performance in Swan Lake. You know, it is believed that the idea of the swan is a symbol of womanhood at its purest. I'm a huge, huge Kofsky head. Oh, did you know he lost his mother at age 14 and was forced to deal with the harsh atmosphere of military boarding school where he found solace in only one thing? Music? Strikers, keep the ball moving, pizza's on me! I don't deserve this. What's all that about? What do you mean? Why didn't you pass to Lauren? She wasn't open. Yes, she was. You see better than anyone else on this team. Lauren was open. Oh, actually, coach number 11 was closing the angle. Passing line just wasn't there. Oh, you don't say. Well, what are we all crying about for, then? Let's go get some pizza, hey? Freddie, are you OK? No, I don't feel so hot. Well, do you want me to call Lucy to come pick you up? Hey, I can call my grandmother myself, okay? If you want to call and talk to her, you call and talk to her. Just don't talk to me. You're Freddy. What's up with her? I'm not sure. Look, I know how guys think this will work. Within an hour, he'll want nothing to do with you. You're the expert on male immaturity. Hey. 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 Ty, I, I know I've spurned your affections in the past, but I realize that a love like yours comes along 
once in a lifetime, so I'll be your boo. Cool. <sighs> What's wrong? I had kind of a bad day. Oh. Do you want to go to the Empire State Building and spit? That always cheers me up. Ty, your girlfriend just said she had a bad day. Don't you want to know why? In a relationship, couples talk about their feelings. Don't you want to know about my feelings? Oh, well, I, I mean, I, I guess so. I'm okay, so I'm getting ready for school, and my mom is telling me that we're running late, but my hair is this really weird hump in it, okay? But I said, I'm not leaving. I can't go outside like this. It was really weird. It was kind of in the back, and it was sticking up right where my highlight was. And I said, there is no way, because the lights in the classroom, the fluorescent lighting, will really highlight the hump, and I just couldn't do that. So at lunch, Courtney just rages on me, and I bust her on it, but she says, I need to do this with you. I need to explore my anger and own my anger. Can you do that? Can you explore and own your anger at the same time? I don't know. So I just thought that was super hurtful, really, really cruel thing for Gina to say. What do you think? What? Come on, you're my boyfriend. You must have something to say. Is that what I'm supposed to do as your boyfriend? Well, it's not what you're supposed to do. It's what you should want to do. Alexa, this is really hard for me. Maybe I'm not ready to be your boyfriend. Are you breaking up with me? Is that okay? I mean... <sighs> if you must, Taya. I don't know, I just really thought we had something here. Nope. <sighs> Peace. you been? You must be starving. I got a hot dog, I'm all right. <laughs> you gonna tell me about the game? We won. Doesn't look like the face of a winner. I got a lot of homework. I'm gonna go get started. Freddie, at the end of the game, when you're trying to run out the clock, you can't keep hanging onto the ball. You gotta keep it moving. How do you know about that? Because for the last hour, I've been inundated with phone calls. First, Alexa called, then Lauren and Vida, some sort of three-way calling nonsense. Then Lauren called again. What they want? They want to know what's going on with you. Are you going to tell me, or do I have to tickle you? You, you like Lauren better than me. I know it. Don't bother denying it. I deny it. I said, don't deny it. <laughs> Lauren's a nice girl. She and I have a lot in common. I like her, but I love you. Come here. But the other night when Lauren was over, and last night at the ballet, it just feels like, like I'm losing you. <sighs> I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. And secondly, let me tell you something about family. You have me, and you also have some people like Vida and Alexa and Lauren, who, it seems to me, are like sisters to you. And just like sisters, you guys are gonna fight, get jealous of each other, hurt each other. But I think there's a bond there that runs very deep. How do you know? Because I'm super grandma, remember? <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> yo, Ty. Oh, yo, what's up, Chris? I heard you scrape my sister off. Yeah, she just won't stop talking about how bad her day was and how she felt about it. That's the way girls are, dude. After a while, you just learn to nod and say, oh, that's terrible. You're kidding me. I totally understand. And all the while, you're just thinking about football. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's really too bad, because Alexa really would have made a good boo. <laughs> Crushes are tough, man. I've been there. You know, you like a girl, but you're afraid to tell her, but you can't stop thinking about her, so you draw her face on your pillow, and then your dad catches you making out with it. Uh, buddy, you lost me on the pillow thing. You want to know what I think? I think you're a liar. Oh, really? Because I think you're the stinking liar here. 
Lauren, you know you can't listen to Freddy. Freddy, don't listen to Lauren. You talk big. Why don't you just show me what you got? Oh, I'll show you what I got. Girls, 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 enough already. Let's see your cards. <laughs> Three of a kind. <laughs> Full boat beats trips. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I thought you said you didn't know how to play. Yeah, well, I did a little research on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> You know, Ooh, snap! You know, I'm starting to think that it was much better when you came over to play violin. <laughs> I'm an extra violin. How about Lauren and I play some Vivaldi? No! No! no. 